This video is intended for demonstration purposes only and should not be followed as an exact installation procedural process. Users should refer to the official manuals for the correct installation procedure. This equipment must be installed by professional technicians who are familiar with the equipment and the design of the photovoltaic systems. Hi, my name is Cameron Stewart. I'm an ABB PV Academy trainer. Today, we're going to go through the preparation needed to install the ABB Micro and CDD. We will also explain the settings of the correct grid country standard parameters. These steps should be done prior to the ABB Micro hardware installation. This acquisition method is designed to configure and acquire all of the microinverters for a particular installation before they are installed on the roof. Open the box with the pre-acquisition kit. In this kit, you will receive an AC power supply, AC power cord, 9-volt alkaline battery, battery strap to the CDD, and an ABB microinverter daisy chain input cable. The 9-volt battery is not used in this process, but can be used if the microinverters are already installed on the roof. Please see rooftop application install video for more information. Here are the display keys. You have the up and down keys, escape and enter. Let's pre-wire the ABB micros. Remove and save the blue input connector caps. Plug in all the connectors with the input daisy chain cable. Note you can start at either end of the input chain of the connectors. The locking tabs have been removed on the daisy chain cable for easy removal. Wire up the first six inverters on one side. Then wire up the next six inverters on the other side. Please note the cable length is longer after the sixth connector to enable it to reach the next row of inverters. Connect the input daisy chain cable to the AC power supply. Connect the AC power supply to AC cable. Connect the AC cable to the power outlet on the wall. Plug in the power adapter into the CDD on the bottom right hand side of the device. This will turn it on. The CDD display will cycle through its boot up phase. Once it is up, it will run through the startup phase, which consists of power output, total energy production, plant signal quality, and connection status. In order to get the acquisition wizard, press and hold both the up and down key simultaneously for three seconds. This will bring up a password prompt on the display. Press the up and down keys to reach the menu to navigate through the numbers. Click enter to advance to the next number or escape key to correct an error. Enter the password 0010 to access the advanced menu. Next, check the version of the firmware through the advanced menu under the view information, then firmware release, then application. If the firmware value is less than 2.3.3, contact ABB technical support. Using the up and down keys, scroll to Change Settings menu, then go to Micromanager. Select Add Inverters option. The CDD display will ask for the latitude and longitude of the installation location. You can find this by Googling the address or looking at your smartphone. This step is very important. If this step is not done correctly, there may be problems with the system monitoring. Enter the time zone and hit enter. The CDD display will scan for available microinverters. This process may take up to five minutes. When you see the desired number of inverters acquired, press the enter key to stop the acquisition. Note that there are 12 inverters per box. 
the CDD will display the MAC address and serial number of each inverter found. If there were additional inverters previously acquired, the CDD will show all previously and newly acquired inverters up to a total of 30. Next, compare the MAC address and the serial numbers on the CDD display screen to the MAC address and serial numbers on the product label of the box. Please note that the MAC address and the screen shows the last eight characters only. The serial number only shows the last six digits. If you notice a MAC address or serial number that should not be acquired, click Enter to delete that inverter from the list. Note, after deleting the number of inverters listed will be automatically updated to reflect the current list of inverters to acquire. If an inverter is accidentally deleted, repeat the acquisition steps. Once all the MAC addresses or serial numbers of the acquired inverters have been verified, click the up and down key to see the message Commit Complete. Click Enter to go to the next step. You will now be prompted to choose the grid standard. Click Enter to change the grid standard. Scroll through the list of available grid standards using the up and down keys. Select the appropriate grid standard by clicking Enter. If more inverters need to be acquired, please repeat these steps. Unplug all the input connectors from the microinverter and replace the blue connector caps. Congratulations! You have acquired the ABB microinverters using the CDD. It is now time to install the ABB microinverters on the roof. Please see our ABB micro installation video. My name is Cameron Stewart. I hope this review of the pre-installation kit for the CDD was helpful. For more help, call technical support or visit our website to schedule an ABB PV Academy training.